guys, welcome to another video with your buddy Dolly Coaster Crafter. And today we have a little bit of a short and sweet tutorial for you guys today. And that is going to be how to apply a chain dog to a Kinex roller coaster car. So for those of you that don't know, a chain dog is a piece that holds on, on normal roller coasters, a big metal piece that is usually hang down from the bottom of the train and it hooks onto the chain or a lift hill so that way uh, the train is able to go all the way up the lift hill and then down the drop eventually. So that is the same uh, same principle on a Connects car. As you can see it has this little piece right here that can push back and retract itself. That is the chain dog right there. So some of these Connects cars unfortunately don't have them. Um, I use chain dogs on pretty much every single car I possibly can so that way it, the entire train can be lifted up by a lift hill if it needs to, if I have a very heavy train or whatnot. Or whatnot. So today I'm going to show you guys how to take one out of a car and then just put it into another car that may not have a chain dog. So let's get right into it. So very simple today uh, for today's tutorial. Basically what we're going to do first, we got to get this chain dog out of the car. I'm going to be using one car for the example because really you would need two cars, one with the dog and one without to just replace it if you need to. Uh, but the way this is going to work, we're just going to unscrew the uh, the front part first. We're using a Phillips head screwdriver, by the way. So go ahead, just unscrew the front of your car. Okay, now once you've got uh, the screws out, you're going to take off the front piece. The piece will just come right off. And then to get the chain dog out, you really just pinch it and it comes right off. Now there are two pieces that come with it that come with this. So I'm going to try and take these off really quick. You got the actual dog itself. This is what hooks onto the chain and then you got this spring. Hold on, let me put it in my hand right here. So this is the spring right here. The way this works is this is what causes the dog to retract every time it gets pushed up against something. Now the way this is going to work, I'm going to try my best to make sure you guys can see this pretty well. So you're going to hold the little end that pops out and you're going to stick it onto the right hand side of the dog. So right hand side, you want this uh, the little flat part right here facing forward. You're gonna slide it onto the right side, going up like this. And then you want that little metal piece right here, that little metal uh, part cube thing to go on the end like this. So I'll kind of micromanage your way in there. I'll kind of have you guys look up, there we go, right in the camera. So this is how you want, oops. This is how you want the, the spring to go around the dog, just like this. There we go. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, once you're getting ready to slide it into the car, you're gonna wanna take this little metal, that little metal stick that's hanging out right there. I'm circling it for you guys. So you're going to want to put that in the slot and then you're gonna to wanna to push down, oops. Push down, so you see the little ledger right there. Push down like that. So you wanna make sure the spring goes in like this. This is what's gonna help the spring to retract the dog. So make sure it goes down like this so it's laying flat. And once you've got it in, obviously it's gonna to wanna to push its way up. So to keep it from doing that, hold the bottom of the car like this and then it will not go anywhere. So hold it like that. And then once you got it in, you're then going to screw, you obviously want to screw the front car back on. So you put this on, kind of keep it tight together. So I say, push it down, hold that really, really tight together. So that way that, that spring does not want to go anywhere. And then to really secure it, you just take a, you just take one of the screws and then start screwing it in. You can do, you want to make sure you're just really holding it tight until you got that screw in. So and there you go, once you have it in, Make sure you just test it really quick. Works just fine. And then just get the other screw in and you're on your way. All right, so there you guys have it. So that's pretty much how you uh, install a chain dog to a Kinex car. So that's really uh, just, a, like I said, short and sweet tutorial today. So that's what I wanted to show you guys because it will really help if you put more chain dogs on your train because the more you have, the easier it is for your lift hill to lift up a big train of cars all the way up the lift hill. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos as I'll keep them coming. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time on Coaster Crafter Channel. Peace.